we're going to go over how we can add a rich text editor into a Dalo. So what I've done is I've created a, a GitHub uh, repository called a Dalo Draft.js that actually implements uh, Draft.js into an Adalo component. So if you go to github.com slash pragmaflow slash Adalo Draft.js, you'll be able to download this and use it yourself. Uh, it's a bit crude right now because I just whipped it up this morning. Eventually, I'll put a bit more time into it and it'll become a nice component that we can publish into the marketplace. Um, so what I've done is I've just created a blank uh, Adalo app. Everyone should be familiar with this. And we're going to add in our component. So it's under development right now because I am running it locally on my machine connected to my Adalo. If you need help with this, just send me a, a forum message and I'll be able to help you out. So we're just going to drag and drop our component, resize it a bit. Now we have our component living on the window. So if we preview, this is my rich text editor. I can use board commands like bold. I can select text to make alec. create headers. Then enter to. So that's an example of, of how it looks. Again, we'll polish this up. We'll make this look nicer so it's not as crude at the top and add some different options before we publish this to the marketplace. So let's close that. And now if we run it again, we can see that nothing that we typed is actually persisted because we actually have to wire that up. So the way we wire it up is we have added in an initial contents parameter and we've created an action called on blur that when the user navigates away from the control, this will be fired that we can grab in the content of what they typed. So I've already gone ahead so let's delete it so we could start over. Uh, we're going to add a new property. It's just going to be a text property. We're going to call profile. So we can now go to our components and we're going to link this component to that profile text. So this will just be the profile text. So our logged in user profile is the initial content. And we saw this on blur method that passes in the content. We're going to have an action that's going to update the current logged in user with the content from our component. So now the first thing we're going to do is, is log out because we don't actually have a user yet. Let's create a user, Stephen at pragmaflow.com. Password one, because it's just for testing. Stephen McEwen, which is my name. Click on sign up. We can say this is my profile. I like, so I like working. Dalo in italic. Now, hopefully, if we did that right, when we close the program, we should be able to go into our database and see that we actually do have data here, which is the Draft.js um, format. So if we did this right, when we run again, It will now load uh, the content that we typed in and the formats that we typed in. So that's it, and I hope you enjoyed.